there was one episode that we did called the Vegetable Rebellion. Now, this episode was just preposterous. I think Jonathan was a, a piece of, he turned into a celery stalk in it, and Stanley Adams was walking around as Mr. Carrot with his face painted orange. And in the episode, we're going through a deep jungle, and a uh, guy was at the head of the line, and then I think I'm next, and there was uh, Angela, and um, I think Mark Goddard was with us. Yeah, that's right. And so we're going through, and he's hacking away, and the theory is that all these vegetables really live. They're, you know, they all have hearts and soul. So every time he would go hack with a plant, the script supervisor would go, ooh, to cut in what was going to be, the, so that they could cut in later the sound of the plant going, ooh. Well, this, of course, was just too funny for words, we thought. And it, we... I mean, the whole thing was so absurd, all these grown-ups pretending, and so, which, of course, is what it's all about anyway. Anyway, then they drop a cargo net over us. Now, this was the filthiest cargo net in all the world, left over from an old World War II Marine movie, I think, in which Jerome Power climbed up the side of a ship on this cargo net. I don't know. It was filthy. So they dropped this thing over us, and we stood there. Everybody had their head on the on the back of the person in front of them, and we were just laughing like this, trying to keep ourselves from falling apart. And cargo nets are heavy, too, you know. <laughs> so anyway, we shot this whole thing, and then every time, and then Angela, we get into a greenhouse, and Angela takes root, and then Guy and Mark decide they're going to go downstairs and see if they can't change, go down to the basement of this greenhouse, and we lift up the... Uh, we lift up the, the um, trap door for them to go down, and of course there's nothing there but floor. So I hold the trap door, as the camera can only see the trap, and we see them disappear bending their knees, and then crawling off to the side is what I can see, but I'm looking down there and saying, be careful, John, and looking straight down at the floor. I mean, it, it was just compounded. Anyway, I want you to know that Guy and I were written out of the next two episodes for giggling at full salary, mind you. <laughs> I'll never get over that one. <laughs>